Dream Chasing Boxing here. It's your boy Jeff, and I'm back with a quick post fight. So, all right, man. Uh, Jose Pedraza versus Ed Edner Cherry. Real good fight. Real competitive fight. I had um, Edner Cherry winning the fight, man. He was very impressive. He he did a lot of veteran moves I want to sit down and talk about. But one thing I will say about um, Edner Cherry, if you're a challenger and you're fighting somebody who is better than you, this is how you come in to win the fight, man. Because... Now, I, I, Fight Critic, shout out to him, you know, made a video about um, um, Jose um, um, Pedraza and basically said that he's a sleeper in the 130-pound division that, you know, people should look out for him. And I will say, after watching this fight, I do, I do believe it, man. I saw him fight for the first time um, under the Deontay Wilder undercard, and he was very sharp, man. He was very sharp tonight. I believe he was very sharp in, you know, at spots, especially early on in the beginning. But, man, this is kind of like, like the same old theme in boxing, man, where... Some guy comes in, he puts, you know, he gives it his all. He's supposed to be the underdog, but he comes in, does everything he's supposed to do, and barely gets rounds, man. I mean, like, judges had it 117, 111, or whatever the fuck they had it. Two judges basically had it nine rounds to three for Jose Pedraza. Now, if you watch this fight, man, this was not no nine rounds victory for Jose Pedraza, man. It was not no nine rounds victory at all. He definitely struggled in this fight, and I had Cherry winning by a couple of rounds, I think. I had him winning about three or four rounds. I wasn't exactly scoring, but I had it through the first four rounds. I believe I had it even. And through the whole the whole middle middle round, it was hard to give Pedraza a round just because Cherry was so active. He was so active and he threw so many punches. It was just hard to give, you know, Pedraza a round. And I'll break down everything and I'll explain it, um, how the fight went right now, man. Now, in the beginning of the fight, Cherry came out. And like I said, man, if you're a challenger and you're fighting somebody better than you, you have to establish a jab, and Cherry did that, man. He established a very good jab, and this fight reminds me a lot of the, um, you know, Vasil Lomachenko versus Orlando Solito fight. It reminds me of that where it's a young fighter with, with the obviously with just just a better skills all around, going up against a veteran who just knows how to win and just knows how to do certain things in the ring to take advantage of them. But like I was saying, early on in the fight, Cherry had a beautiful jab, very strong jab. And, like, yo, challengers take notes, man. If you're coming as an underdog and you're trying to basically just not come in to lay down and to win effectively, this is how you do it. He came in with a very strong jab, and um, Pedraza, it was giving Pedraza um, troubles already, but I started seeing really, like, the skills to play, um, display from Pedraza because what he did, he started countering it immediately. Like, this is, like, all in the first round. There was a lot of adjustments in the first round. He started countering immediately with the right hand over the top. He started countering with the, with the right hand over the top, and he was catching, um, he was catching Cherry very well. Cherry was, he was definitely struggling with that, but he still, he kept um, dubbing up, tripping up the jab. And Pedraza, you know, he was still getting comfortable in that, in that first round. I believe um, what, what happened was Cherry, he began to actually, like, put more pressure. And he, he started doubling and tripping up his jab. And he wasn't leaving that opening for the, um, for the head anymore. He started actually getting out the way. So then what happens in the third, between, I think it happened in the third or fourth round. Yo, Pedraza started getting very comfortable. He started, but he was basically timing Cherry, and he was going to the body with the counter. He was coming back up top with the head with the counter right hand. Basically, like, his weapon, he was taking Cherry's weapon completely away from him. But this is when Cherry came out with the veteran move, and what he started to do, and it was pretty dirty, when Pedraza started coming in on, on, on those body shots, or when he started coming in with that right hand, what, um, what Cherry did, he, he, started, he started coming leading in with, with, with his head. So as soon as um, Pedraza would come in with, with that right hand, he hurt him very badly. I think with the fourth or third round with his fucking head, man. He came with his head and basically that messed Pedraza up. And he started backing up and he kind of like switched game plan. That kind of changed the whole momentum of the fight. Now Pedraza still tried to be slick and still tried to be, you know, active on the inside. But Cherry did something, I believe in the middle rounds, I was very effective that he was extremely reactive, man. What I mean by that is... Anytime Pedraza did anything like um to come, try to come in, you know, box and be slick on the inside and land on his, his body shots because Pedraza was trying to stay in the line of fire and land his body shots, man, Cherry was unloading bombs and it was just too dangerous. While Pedraza was landing the more effective punches, Cherry got some big shots in there that basically switched up the whole game plan, switched up the whole tide of the fight, man. But I believe the keys for um this fight, why well, I think he won with Cherry, was basically the jab, that headbutt that changed the complexion of the fight. And then he was so reactive and so busy, he threw so many more punches. I mean, you guys saw it on the screen earlier. He threw so many more punches and worked so hard. Like I said, man, I had Cherry winning this fight. Let me know what you think. Maybe I just saw it differently. Maybe I got persuaded by the announcers. Dream Chasing Boxing. It's your boy,